chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew too and i'm back at you again with another video i need each and every vessel to hit that like button hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe let's get right into it shout out to the gcvs the galactic family and drew nation start listening to god and stop listening to people start listening to god and stop listening to people you have to figure out who you are listening to. Who are you focused on? Are you focused on something positive? Or are you focused on something negative? People, unfortunately, have some of the worst things that they could possibly have to say to a person who is geared towards success focused on something positive and headed in the right direction. They want to take your mind and they want to stop you dead in your tracks because you are becoming too strong and you're becoming too powerful. They would rather have you doubt yourself and go back to being the person that you used to be. People who are weak-minded, people who have self-hate. They don't want to see someone figure out who they are or what they're supposed to be. So what people will do is they will try to make that person with all that strength second-guess themselves, think that it's not possible for them, and they will try to get you to sabotage yourself all by getting you to listen to them and hear what they have to say. Some people's conversations are not worth it. You are supposed to be avoiding certain people. That's why these people seek you out. You go to spread some positive gospel, some positive, some positive good spell, and here they come with the spells. Here they come with their negative words, trying to speak evil into your life. So you have to ask yourself, who are you listening to? Why would you, someone who's confident, someone who knows what they want in life, someone who's not confused, someone who knows where they're going, why would you stop and listen to someone who's not going anywhere? Imagine someone running a race. Imagine someone playing in a game. Would you listen to someone on the sidelines? Because that's where these people are at. You're in the game of life. It may not be the game they're playing, but you figure out a way to create your own game. You figured out a way to do your own thing. And because they're unable to do that, they want to try to get in your head and stop you from believing in yourself. They have their own thing. They want to stop you from doing your thing. They don't want to see you do your thing because they don't have anything to do. They're so worried about you and what you're doing that they have to try to stop you. So what you have to do is stop them from getting into your head. What you have to do is stop your mind from entertaining their nonsense. You are a confident person and you know what you want out of life. They have no idea what they want out of life. That's why they're in the same position, doing the same thing, and it doesn't look like they've made much progress. You, on the other hand, it may not look like you are making progress, but you are. These people will get new things. These people will get new homes. These people will get materials, but they're still the same person on the inside. They're too focused on changing things outwardly instead of changing who they are on the inside. They're going about life their own way as 
it may be right for them. It may be wrong for them. You personally don't have to care, shouldn't care. And if I were you, I wouldn't care. But the thing is, they are so worried about you becoming successful and reaching your goals. They have to try to whisper some negativity into your ear. Just like the serpent when he had to go to Eve. They have to try to whisper something negative in your ear to try to knock you out of heaven. You're in a heavenly state believing in yourself. You're in a heavenly state feeling confident about yourself, having the right idea about yourself. And then here comes the devil. That's not right. I wouldn't think that way. You're not going to get anywhere doing that. They want you to not see yourself getting to where you want to go, but it's already too late. You have convinced yourself, you have convinced your mind that you can have everything you desire. You have convinced yourself that you can have everything that you want. You have a whole list of goals. You have a whole list of dreams. You have a whole list of aspirations, things that you know that you can accomplish, things that you know you are going to accomplish. You're not telling them your business. You're not letting them in on your life. You're not giving them the time of day because the things they have because of the things they have to say. The things that they have to say are not positive. Why would you waste your time listening to somebody who doesn't look like they're going anywhere? It's like the Oz, if you've ever seen the Oz. It's a the African American version came out in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, came out with Michael Jackson. Um, what's that lady's name? Michael Jackson. Um, what is her name? Diana Ross and a couple other characters. When Michael Jackson was up on the uh, the cross, when he was up on the... Um, and I, I believe the Scarecrow, because in the movies, they always have, all these movies are based off the Bible. They always have a Christ-like figure. And of course, Michael Jackson playing the Scarecrow hinged up on, forgive me, I'm not sure what it's called, but whatever the Scarecrow, whatever he was up on, all right, they, the crows were making fun of him and telling him that he would never get down. They were being negative. They had a lot to say. They were bullying Michael. They always came around and had something terrible to say to Michael while he was up, hinged up on that structure. Excuse my, un, uh, uh, excuse me, not knowing what it's called. But sooner or later, he, but then here's, here's the thing about the Wizard of Oz. Here's the thing about the Oz. They told Michael that he would never get down. Oh, you can't get up off of there. You stuck up there. You ain't never going to walk on the ground like us. They had all those negative things to say, and that's life. That scarecrow represents your mind. That's why he was like the Christ figure. It represents your mind. It represents the Christ mind. Michael didn't let them, uh, 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 didn't let them um, taint his reality. They didn't, he didn't let them taint his vision of getting up off that structure. Eventually, because he knew he would get down and he was, he was positive, the power of his mind, the power of his subconscious mind led him to some help. Diana Ross, the Tin Man, and I believe the lion, because I think the lion had scared them away. I'm going to go back and watch that movie. The lion scared them away. Rawr. That represented the courage aspect of the movie. Even though he wasn't the most courageous, he had to find his courage. And throughout life, a lot of us have to find our courage. But you won't find it if you listen to the wrong voice. 
you have to listen to the voice within. And that's God. Why would you not listen to the voice within? All these other voices, all these other uh, chatty patties, all these other negative Nancys, all these other people's opinions don't matter. They're not really trying to save you from any harm. If they're not really trying to make sure that you don't hurt yourself, don't listen to them. If you don't get the if you don't get the vibes from them that they're trying to put your best interest at heart, don't listen to them. You can you you can ignore them. You don't have to hear what they have to say. It's not like you're walking into a, a burning pit and they're like, hey, I wouldn't walk in there if I was you. You won't catch on fire. Somebody is trying to help you like that, by all means, listen to them. But if somebody is trying to skew your opinion of yourself or or skew your idea about yourself, how you feel about yourself, they're only trying to destroy your confidence because they don't want to see you succeed. They didn't want to see Michael get up off that thing. But his mind was strong enough to attract some help to him. Your mind is strong. Your mind has the same power of God, okay? You have God in you. Your mind can attract what you need. Just like Michael's mind attracted that help. When you think the right idea, when you think the right things, all right, that's believing in God. That's believing that good things are supposed to happen to you. But there are some people out here who are too negative to grasp that concept. There are some people out here who are too negative to believe that anything good can happen to them so that they're stuck on a negative wave and they don't want you to think that anything good can happen to you too. They don't know how to harness the power of self-belief. They don't know how to harness the power of making something happen with their mind. They can't do that. So what they have to do is, because they're so negative, anybody that's positive They want them to be just like them. You can't get down from there. You can't get ahead in life. You can't start that business. You can't create that, uh, uh, make that idea and create that idea and change your life. When in all actuality, you can. Because you can do whatever you think you can do. They didn't make that book the little engine that could. They didn't call it the little engine that couldn't. See, when you're a child... It's okay to believe in yourself. When you're a kid, it's okay to to think and use your imagination because, oh, he's just a kid. He'll grow out of it. Why would you say something like that? There are a lot of people out here whose minds are trapped in in the idea and in the realm of disbelief. A lot of people, they don't have no faith. They don't have faith in God and they don't have faith in themselves and they don't have faith in the God in themselves. They don't, they have no belief. All right. And they're, they're trying to spread that spell. All right. They're trying to put you under a spell of disbelief. They're trying to put you under a spell of not believing in yourself. So why would you listen to someone who doesn't believe in themselves when they're only trying to get you to not believe in yourself? There are some people out here who don't think that they can do anything and they want other people to around them like that so they could feel content they could feel comfortable they don't have to deal with the anxiety of other people becoming great so that way they don't feel like they have to get up off of that thing and do something so they feel better so who are you whose opinion are you considering are you considering uh the opinion of god are you considering the opinion of the devil all right, some people come in the white robe with the halo. Some people come in the red in the red robe with the devil horns. All right, some people come on a lower frequency. Some people are coming at you on a higher frequency. So it's up to you, all right? I wouldn't listen to anyone that has a negative idea about me when I feel positively about me. Everyone is allowed to have their own idea about themselves. You're supposed to be developing and constructing a positive idea about yourself. It's the only way that you think you can do something. 
people just don't think big. They think they can go do something small and that's as big as they go. They own, they, they're thinking small and you're thinking big. When you think big, you can't listen to people who are small minded because they're going to hold you back with their small mindedness. Whether they're afraid, whether they have too much fear, whether they're scared to try, whether they don't think they can is none of your business. So when you see people who have nothing but negative things to say, nothing but toxic things to say, nothing but things to say that will make you um, not want to try, make you not want to go after your success, why would you listen to someone like that? Why would you have a friend like that? If you have any friends who, who are telling you that you can't do that or I wouldn't go after that, don't listen to them. You need to cut them off and get them out of your life because that person is not a real friend. You, you and Anyone that's a real friend would at least want to see you go after it. They may not have anything of their own to do, but if they're not support supportive of you, they got to go. If they're not supporting, if they ain't supporting, there we go. If they ain't supporting, they ain't important. So if somebody is not supportive of your dream, if somebody is not supportive of your vision, it's, it's not like your dream is to go uh, dang, dangle off of a cliff with no uh, support, with no, with no support straps. It's not like your dream is to go stand out in the middle of the road and see if you could dodge a Mack truck. Your, your dream is not to um, pour gasoline on yourself and then have one of your friends light a match and set it on camera. All right. That's not your dream. You want to go do something that could better yourself and better your life. And on top of that, the reason why you have to get away from people is because you even have the idea of bettering the people who are around you. All right. You're not a selfish person. You, you, they may paint you out as a selfish person because you are selfish with your time because you know you need to use it to become something. But that doesn't make you a selfish person. That makes you a smart person for putting yourself first. So the fact that somebody may try to point paint you out as something that you're not just because you want to go be something that you want to be, that's manipulative. People want you to stay in the same place where they're at because it makes them feel comfortable about the life that they chose to live and what they're doing with themselves, which may not be anything big. You want to do something big. You want to do something better than you've already done, something better than, than you've ever done, and you have the mind to get it done. You have the mindset to achieve it. You think big. You think great. You think on a greater scale and not on an average scale. Some people are just going to be average because they don't want anything more than that. All right? Some people are just comfortable with where they're at. That doesn't mean you have to be. But since misery loves company, they want somebody else to be comfortable where they're at right with them. But you're not going to stand for that. So when you are around people like this, they will try to... Um, They'll try to suggest to you that, oh, we don't want anything bigger. We don't want to do anything. Um, we, 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 we don't need anything uh, uh, fancy. We don't need anything. Uh, we don't want to be rich. or we, we, we just, uh, We're just happy with the regular, normal ways of life. And none of, none of that success talk. And you don't want to be successful. You don't, you don't, you don't want to, to go out in life and become anything better than you are right now. Look at you. You've got everything a person could want. All right. You've got, you, you, you're taken care of. You're, you're, you're able to wake up in the morning. They'll even try to use that against you. I, th I thought you were, were, con I thought you were okay with waking up in the morning and just thanking God. It's okay to wake up and thank God when you wake up in the morning, but he woke you up for something. He woke you up to do something. He woke you up to be something. You're not just waking up just to suck eggs. You're not waking up just to breathe. You're here to do something. And once you figure out what that something is, 
You go in on it every single day. You don't hold back. You don't stop. You don't let anybody's opinion stop you because you know what you are put here to do. You know what you want to do. You know what you are supposed to become. You know that. All right. You have an idea. You've always had an idea of it. You've always had a dream of it ever since you were a young person. All right. Even after being a young person throughout your whole life, you had the idea that you were going to become something. You always knew it. People around you always knew it. So now that you're stepping into that greatness, the, the fear that you don't have, the fear that you lack it's going to start showing up in other people. But really, that's their fear for themselves. They fear you leaving them behind. And they fear you becoming successful and using your mind. People know that they could be doing something better and something greater. They just don't want to. And they want everybody else to not want to either. But that's not the case. You want to be able to go on vacation. You want to be able to travel. You want to be able to have certain experiences. You want to be able to go across the globe. All right. You want to be international. You want to be able to 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 meet different people. All right. The the people that um the the people that you're supposed to be meeting. The people who uh, God created you to to intermingle with and mix with and meet up with and have conferences with and conversations with. You're supposed to be doing some things and and there are people who can feel that energy on you and they want to hold you back. If they can't have an amazing, successful, prosperous life, if they're not going after anything to make them rich, if they don't want to be rich. They will try to, to suggest to you that you shouldn't want that either. They don't know what they want, unfortunately. You do. So since you know what you want, it's time that you go after it. Since you know what you want, it's time to listen to that voice within, trust that voice, and trust the creator. Because he created you for a reason. You were put here for a reason. Not everybody is going to go after their dream. They're just not. People may dream, but they don't go after their dream. Faith without works is dead. Some people have faith. Some people can imagine all these wonderful things and all these creative things and all these amazing things, but they don't have the faith to go after it. They don't have the courage to go after it. They don't have the tenacity to keep going when things get tough, when things get hard, when things get difficult, when it seems like they're not going to get anywhere. They are unsure of their ability. You are sure of your ability. You're more than sure because you're not basing it off of yourself. You're not basing your belief off of the things that you see around you. You're basing your faith and you're basing your belief off of what you know you can have for yourself, what you see for yourself in your mind's eye. Most people who can't see success for themselves, they don't know how to envision and they don't have a vision. You know that you can become successful. Success scares certain people. Most people don't do enough research. Most people don't study up on successful people. Most people don't care about success at all until someone around them starts to go after certain things, starts to want to do certain things, starts to want to be certain things. Once they see that you are able to create the things that you want, they're going to go in panic mode if they're a hater. All right, some of some of your best friends are only there to monitor you and to hold you back. They're there to keep watch on you. All right, some of them may even be in connection with other people around you that you know. Other friends, 
other people in your life, you never know what people are doing when they're not around you. So if there are people that you get the vibe from that so-and-so is a hater, so-and-so never wants to hear about what I'm doing with my life. And that's a good thing. If they don't want to hear about you, you wanting to be successful, don't tell them. If they don't want to hear about your goals, if they switch the subject, start talking about something else. They get angry. They get an attitude. They Why are you always bringing that up? Why you keep talking about that? Everybody knows you want to do something. Everybody knows that's what you like to do. Why you always got to talk about that? That's a telltale sign. You shouldn't be sharing anything with that person. No ideas, no gifts, no dream, no talents, no future plans, no nothing. People who don't want to see you make it will want to see you be held back. They'll want to hold you back any way they can. So you got to keep a lot of these things to yourself. All right. Keep your dreams on hush mode. Keep your plans on hush mode. You should be communicating to your creator about the things that you want to do and asking him to guide you and keep you strong along the way. When you want to be successful in life, you have to ask God for protection. So that way he could protect you, protect your goals, protect your dreams, protect your ideas. Because there are going to be people that don't want to see that happen. But the thing is, we don't listen to them. We listen to that voice inside of us that says, I can do that. I know I can do that because that's the feeling that you have. Be honest. You have the feeling inside of you that says, I know I can do that. I know I could be successful at that. You are so courageous and have so much courage in yourself. You can pick up something that you have no idea of how to do. But if, if you feel that that's what you're supposed to do, if you feel that that's the, the direction that you're supposed to take, you're so courageous that you will keep going at it until you figure it out, until you learn what to do, until you actually get to where you want to go. It's just it's in you to be like that. You will take the time to figure it out. You will take the time to learn it. That way you can earn it. You have a level of supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding when it comes to success, when it comes to doing your best. All right. You can't listen to everyone and you can't trust everyone. There are people who you can trust. There are people who you can trust. But if they're coming off as shady, if they're throwing shade at you, if they're making fun of your dreams, making fun of your goals, laughing at you for what you want to be, laughing at you for, for what you told them, what you think you can do, you stay away from people like that and you don't tell them what you have planned. You don't express your goals to them. You don't express your dreams to them. They will pray against you and they will pray for your downfall. They will, God, I don't want to see that happen. God, don't let it happen. Don't let her hit. Don't let him become successful. Don't let that work out for him. Don't let that work out for her. God forbid. But there are some people who are that wicked. There are some people who are that wicked who will smile in your face, act like they're your friend, but they're pretending because they really want you to stay stuck with them where they're at and they don't want to see you make it in life. If they did, they wouldn't have that attitude towards you. They would want to hear about what you have to say. All right. Not only will these people not want to hear about your goals and dreams, they're not even going to want to hear you open your mouth because the things you have to say are just that positive. You'll find yourself having to be quiet around them or else you'll get attacked, ridiculed, laughed at, made fun of. Oh, you're soft. You're weak. I'm, you're not soft because... Somebody is trying to convince you that you can't go be something. You are smart because you're keeping your mouth closed 
because you know these people will attack your goals and your dreams and the things that you want to do. You're smart. Who cares about what they have to say? Stop listening to people and start listening to God. God tells you you're strong. God tells you you can be what you want. God tells you you can have what you want. God says, if you, according to your belief, so be it unto you. God says, whatever a man thinks, so is he. If you think you're a, of yourself as a loser, as a bum, as a nobody, that's what you're going to be. Don't let people convince you that you're a nobody. They want to convince you that you're a nobody. How are you a nobody with a body? That doesn't even make sense. How are you going to be a nobody with a body? That, that, is, that, is, that is impossible. If you have a body, you're somebody. You woke up this morning and you're going after your dream, you're somebody. It may not have even happened yet. You're somebody. But the thing is, you have to live in the end. And you already are living in the end. You're just not aware of it. When you see yourself in that car, in that nice suit, in, in, that, in those nice clothes, being able to go wherever you want, being able to travel, being able to go on vacation, having that new mansion, having that new home. Get, when you see yourself out of the condition that you're already in, when you see yourself having the good that you, uh, that you see for yourself, you're living in the end. And that's not even the end result. You could take it even further than that. I wouldn't tell them that though. I'd keep that to myself. Not everybody wants to see you become successful. They're going to try to trick you into thinking that you don't need to become successful. You, you can't live your life to the fullest with the life that you currently have now. They're going to try to paint you out as an ungrateful, disrespectful person, all because you won't accept the idea that they've accepted for themselves, and you won't accept the idea that they have about you for yourself. That's witchcraft. Don't let these people put a spell on you of disbelief. Don't let people put a spell on you of never. Never say that you can't do something. Never say that you can't have something. Never say that you can't accomplish something because you're cursing yourself. Other people are cursed themselves and they want you to curse yourself. They've beaten themselves down so much just to be in other people's good graces and to have other people like them. You know we can't do that. Yeah, we can't do that. I curse that. I curse that. I rebuke that. I send that straight to hell because you can have what you want. Don't let people make you think like they think. All right. They, they want they want you to to think the same way they do. So you'll have the same level of success that they do. You think bigger than the people that don't see themselves becoming successful. You do. You think big, and just because you think big, it doesn't mean everybody thinks big like you. You'll be at a job, and you'll think bigger than the manager. You'll be at a job, and you'll think bigger than all your other coworkers. You'll be at a job, and you'll see yourself outside of that job. You'll see yourself using that job to create your business, to, to create your album, to create your mixtape, to create your clothing brand, to create whatever brand. You're, you see that job as something that fuels your dream. You're working there to pay for everything else that you need to, to take care of yourself. But that majority of that money and the majority of the time of you being there so you can go after your goals and go after your dream. Other people are just going to work to pay bills and be comfortable. You don't want to be comfortable. You, 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 you have outgrown being comfortable. There's an old saying that says, if you want to be comfortable, you have to be rich. Well, I don't want to be rich. I have to be comfortable. But in order to be comfortable, you have to be rich. 
in order to be everybody. I don't want to be rich. I just want to be comfortable. That's how the saying goes. I don't want to be rich. I rebuke that. I just want to be comfortable. I rebuke that. But in order to be comfortable, you have to be rich. You don't have to sell your soul to be rich. That's just the route some people take. You don't have to stab nobody in the back to be rich. That's just the route some people take. And you know, on television, that's what they're going to show in movies, on TV. There are some cheaters who get ahead. I'm not saying that they don't, but is that your idea of success? Is that what you want for yourself? If, if, if the people who choose to do things the right way, it just takes them a little bit longer. But the thing is, you enjoy your journey. You learn things along the way. You, you gather wisdom and, and knowledge and understanding along the way. Imagine having to be a cutthroat person to get reach your level of success. If you fall and lose it all, which it happens to people who become successful, God forbid, you're going to, that's the only way you're going to know unless you've made some connections with some, some other people like yourself who you really honestly can't even trust. There's no trust. There's no uh, honor amongst thieves. So when you learn the process of success, when you learn the process of patience and going after things the right way and doing things a righteous way, you're going to, if you, God forbid, if you lose it, you're all on the only person you're going to have to depend on is yourself and God to get to where you, back where you were to get back to the, the place where you want to be. There's, there's going to be no guilt. There's going to be no shame. There's going to be no bad vibes. You're actually probably even going to be more excited to be like, Ooh, man, Ooh, I'm back, baby. But you know what? I'm man, this, this right here isn't, this doesn't even phase me. This reminds me of good times. This reminds me of when I when I was working my way up to the top before and I've worked my way up to the top from the bottom before. And guess what? I'm going to do it again. Let's do it again. Mm, 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 mm. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's work our way up from the bottom to the top again. That's all you're doing right now is working your way from the bottom up to the top. That's honorable. That's commendable. Even if there's nobody to give you honor for it or commend you for it, guess what? You'll be able to look in the mirror and face yourself in the mirror and be like, I did it. They told me I couldn't do it, but I did it. They told me not to believe in myself. I did it anyway. They told me I'd never make it. Oh, you right back here where you belong. Guess what? I'm going to work myself back up to where I really belong at. At the top where I was created to be at, not on the bottom with rocks. I was created to be on the top and I'm going to get there my own way. I'm going to get there the only way I know how by doing it in a, in a, in a, a, a way to where I don't have to hurt nobody. I don't got to stab nobody in the back. I don't got to betray nobody. I don't got to use nobody all off of this, all off of what's in here. And it's, it, as long as you know that you stand the chance of making it, that's all you that's all you have to know is that you can do it. They, there is a, a way for me to make it. I can make it. I'm going to make it. I will make it. I can do this. I know I can do this. I'm more than able to do this. I have everything in me that I need to be able to do this. There's nothing stopping there's nothing stopping me from being able to do this. The only thing that's stopping me from being able to do this is what's in here. Your if they can't stop the thoughts that are in your mind, if they can't stop you thinking from uh becoming successful, they can't stop you from doing anything. If they can't stop you from having a positive idea about yourself, they can't stop you from becoming what you know that you can. So you don't listen to other people who don't feel like that because with all that being inside of you, that's power. With all that being inside of you, that's a very powerful energy. That's strength. That's courage. Not everyone has that. 
you have some things in you that other people wish they had. It's like somebody uh, uh, that's six four and some and somebody that's five two. No offense to anybody five two. It's like somebody five two. You're wasting your time playing basketball. You go to that park every day. You need to just stay here and hang out with us. We ain't we ain't going to the NBA. If you walked, if you overheard that as a positive person, you would pull that person to the side and be like, get away from him. That person is a terrible person for you for you to be around for your mental state. You need to you need to get away from that person. That person is a terrible person for you to be around, for you to cultivate an idea of success. You're, you are already in the NBA. How, how old are you? 16. How tall are you? 6'4". You're already a grown man. What are you doing around this, this, this person? Why, why would you listen? Don't hang out with him. Get away from him. Because... All that person is going to do is make you think that you can't do it. All right. It's like Superman hanging around somebody with no powers. You can't fly, bro. And you just flew. You can't fly. He just showed you that you can fly. They'll gaslight you. You can't fly. They'll try to make you think that you can't do it when you can. And that's that's all it is. Their, goal, their job is, as a hater, to try to make you think, because you're greater, and they have some things that they're dealing with that they can't come to terms with, they feel that it's their job to stop you from going after your goals because they don't have any goals to go after to make their job. Don't let these people stop you from thinking that, you know what, I can go out and have that. I could create the life that I want. I, I, I can have a life full of excitement and, and live my dream and be happy and, 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 and do the things that I've always wanted to do. That's why you're here. There are some people out here that took the, the shortcut route. There are people out here who took shortcuts. There's people out here who take shortcuts all the time. They don't gather any wisdom. They don't gather any information. They don't learn anything. All they know how to do is take a shortcut. You could 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 take a shortcut. That's all they know how to do is take a shortcut. Why take a shortcut? You know you have within you, everything within you to get there and make it. It's just a process and you have to be patient and you have to live in the end. You, it, it, you really have to use your mind. But when you get there, you're going to feel so good about yourself. You're going to feel so mentally fit, so accomplished, so strong. You're going to feel great. Every day is going to feel like it's your, it, it's your best day ever. Even on the bad days, you're going to be like, well, you know what? It's not the best day I've had, but it could be worse. Don't you want that? Don't you want to be able to say, well, you know what? I've had better days, but it could be worse. There's somebody out there who has it worse than me. I'm going to be grateful for what I have accomplished and for where I'm at. Because I know who I know it's going to be better. All right. You'll be able to sit back in your, your comfortable chair. You'll be able to go. If you're not feeling good, you'll be able to take a ride in that nice new vehicle. You'll be able to, to go to, to that beach home. You know what? <sighs> I'm not really feeling it. Let me take a break from work and go on vacation. Let me take a break from what, all my work. Let me take a break from my business. Let me get take a, bit, a break from these plans and let me go regroup. Let me go spend some time with the father. Let me go spend some time and, and, and ground myself, regather my thoughts. Get a uh, 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 remuster up some creativity. Let me let me go do some things that lift my spirits. Instead of being around people who want to put you down, and they they want to they want to lower your spirit, they want to be a burden to you. They want to try to make life hard for you. Life's already has its difficulties. We don't need anything else or anyone else making it any harder than it has to be. So why why do that to yourself? Why be around someone like that when you don't have to? 
Why listen to someone like that when you can listen to yourself? Not to say you should be the only person that you listen to, but if a person is not being a positive influence and the things that they're saying aren't going to help you get to where you want to go, you shouldn't listen to them. And you should listen to the God that's in here because that's what that voice is. That voice that's telling you that I can do that. You know, that's God. You know, that's some. you know, that's something good for you to listen to. So instead of listening to something negative, listen to something positive, listen to something good. Because if you don't, you're never going to take the chances you need to take. You're never going to have the courage to, to do the things you need to do. You're going to be a, you, you, you're never going to not be afraid of failure. That's the only thing you need to fear is failure. Failure is a difference between failing and there's a difference between failure. They want you to fear failing. Failing is I'm going to do this until I figure out how to do it, until I get it done, until I accomplish my goal, until I get to where I need to get. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to let anyone stop me. Um, I may not be the greatest at it. I may not be the best at it yet, but I will get there. Failure, enough of enough fails will lead to a win. Failure is, I can't do this. I'm just going to give up. That's failure. You're only a failure if you quit. If you keep going and you keep failing, you're going to reach a level of success. And then if that's not the level of success you want to be, guess what? You can keep going until you reach the level of success that you feel is right for you. That's all success is. You keep working on something. You keep working at something until you get to the level where you want to be at. That's what it is. You don't let other people uh, tell you otherwise. Get in your head and fill your head up with negative thoughts. And now you're, you're second guessing yourself. You're not um, focused on the fact that uh, you, you can do it. Some people will actually make you feel that you can't do something. You'll be good at it. You'll be great at it. But then when you get around them, it's like all your skill goes out the window. That person has a spell on you. And when, when you get away from that person, you feel like you're good again. You feel like you can go do something. People will actually tell you things to, to decrease your level of ability. They'll tell you things to, to decrease your creativity. Because they know that you value what they say. And this is where people get it confused. Oh, well, uh, like I, I, people will try to uh, just play games with you and make fun of you this way. They'll be like, oh, well, so-and-so told me I couldn't do it. So I, I, it, it was hard for me. I couldn't do it. People don't understand motivation. They're unmotivated and they don't understand motivation. They don't understand how to be motivated because they're unmotivated. And most of the time, they don't want to be motivated because if you motivate them, that's going to have to make them get up, go do something, go change something. It's going to have to make them self-reflect. They're going to realize that what they're doing wasn't good enough. It may be good enough for where they're at, but not where they want to be. You know where you want to be. So you know how good you have to be to get there. So you want to let somebody try to uh, uh, convince you that you're, oh, you're good enough. You don't have to do any more. That's their favorite thing to say. Oh, man, you, you're, you're good enough. You're, all, you're already great. You're already good enough. You don't have to do any more. They want to try to stop you from getting to where you're supposed to be because they want to control you. They know that if you get to a higher level, you'll realize that they're not good they're not a good enough person for you to be around. And this isn't putting them down. But once you get to another level and there are people like you, they're afraid that you're not going to want to be their friend anymore. You're going to befriend other people like you, other like spirited, like minded individuals like yourself, like you should be friends with as long as they're not negative or corrupt or trying to do anything that's not they're not supposed to do. 
People are afraid you're going to leave them behind because they know deep down inside they're not going where you're going. And that's okay. They didn't make the positive choices that you made. They didn't choose to put in the work that you put in. All right? People will will um, try to make you not work as hard. All right? Well, they still, People will see you going hard. They'll see you going after something. And they'll be like, yo, you, you've done enough. It's all to try to control you because they don't want to see you reach a certain level. You know where you're going. You have confidence that you can get there. You got the confidence that you're already there. So why listen to somebody who's trying to tell you that you're a nobody? You ain't nobody. Some people will say we're nobodies. You can't believe them. It's unfortunate that that's the way they feel. But if you agree with them, you're making that real. It's unfortunate that's the way they feel. But if you agree with them and their negativity for yourself, you've just made that real. People feel like, and, and, and these are the people who make you feel like you're walking on eggshells. You, like for the longest time, I wondered why people would come up to me and try to get me to accept their idea on life. People will try to get you to accept how they feel about life. I don't want to accept how you feel about life. I have my own version of how I feel about life. I have my own idea of how I feel about life. But you're so positive, it scares them. You're so positive that if they're a hater, they're going to have to try to, 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 to get you to think different. Because how you're thinking is making them feel that they're not good enough, that they can't make it, that they're not going to have anything going on in their life. And a lot of people will start to think about what they're doing with their time. They'll start to think about what they're doing with their life. And a lot of these people who are trying to stop you are in secret competition with you. They're in secret competition. They don't want you to know it. They'll try to hide it. They'll try to disguise it. But they're going to have a disdain for you and your success. All right. They're not going to want to hear about what you're going to do. They're not going to want to see you work on what you're working on. All right. These people will try to pull you away from what you're doing. Hey, let's go do this. It's like, yo, you know, I got to go work on what I got to work on. You've worked on that enough. Haven't, haven't you spent enough time doing that already? You done worked on that all day. Haven't you spent enough time doing that? You worked on that all week. You need to take a break. Chill, relax. Come hang out with me and my other negative friends. People rub off on each other. They don't like what they don't like was rubbing off on them in terms of you, but they want you to let them rub off what they have on you. If, if you won't let me bring you up, as the saying goes, if, you, if, if they won't let you bring them up, you don't let them bring you down. If they won't let you bring them up, right? Ain't, ain't that crazy? They won't let you bring them up. They won't let you motivate them. You try to motivate them, say positive things to them. They don't want to hear it. They don't want nothing to do with it. They're like, man, I'm tired of hearing that, bro. I don't want to hear that no more, man. Take take that somewhere else. I'm like, come on, man. You know I don't want to hear that. But then they'll they'll do everything in their power to do the opposite to you. So you have to match their energy. Yo, I don't want to hear that. I'm out. I'll see you later. Their friendship, your friendship with them is not worth it. What successful people don't realize is that they're they're good people. They got big hearts. They care about people, but you can't care about people that much to where you'll let them sabotage your success. The minute somebody doesn't want to hear something positive or something constructive, you need to cut them off. You need to keep your distance from them and not spend as much time around them. You may not have to cut them off completely, all right, but you may not be able to go around them until you become successful. You may not have to cut them off completely, but if they're negative and they don't believe in you or what you're trying to do or they're not going to let you bring them up, don't let them bring you down and get away from them until you achieve your goal.
because they will do everything in their power to try to stop you from achieving that goal and make you go backwards in life because they're going backwards in life. If they're going backwards in life, they're not going to want to see you move forward with your life. Crabs in a bucket. One of one tries to get out the bucket. All of them try to pull them back down. They're pulling at you. They're pinching at you. They got their claws on you trying to bring, they are clawing you to death, trying to bring you back down. It's a fight. It's, it's literally a fight. It's a fight to become successful. It's not, it's not an easy thing because people will try to convince you that you're doing the wrong thing when you're actually doing the right thing. You don't want to spend no time with us. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't like us like that no more. You don't appreciate us. You, you, I've, I've been your friend for years, man. I'm, I've known you for years. You won't give up. You won't give me up just so you can go do that. You won't stop talking to me just so you could go work on that. Man, I thought I thought we were cool, man. I thought we were friends. Ladies, they're going to be like, you don't want to hang out with us? We're your girlfriends. You don't want to go get your hair done, get your nails done. You don't want to go uh, uh, spend money on clothes and 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 purchase uh, uh, go go to the hair salon and the nail salon and get all done up. You trying to invest in your business. You trying to own your own hair salon. What do you look like paying somebody else for something you could do for yourself? They know you could braid your own hair. They know you can install your own lace front. Better than the way they do it at the at the uh, hair salon. They know you could do your own nails better than they do it at the nail salon. They know you they know you could do a better job. They know you could do you could do them. They don't want to pay you though, but they'll pay the lady at the hair salon. Yo, why don't y'all pay me? Y'all see, I'm trying to take care of myself and 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 pay for school and and um accomplish my goal of, of doing this hair and doing these nails. Why don't y'all work with me and then we could all open a business and we could work it and then we could all hire each other and pay each other. Uh, that's too much work, girl. Don't nobody feel like doing that. That's too much work, girl. Ain't nobody trying to do all that. I could go there, pay them five thousand dollars to do it a a, a a year, and have them do it, and or however much. Like man, they be paying them. They be paying them. Why would you sell yourself short just to have some negative, toxic friends? If they're not, if they're not going to allow you to uh, take them to a better place, don't let them take you to a worse place. Don't let them bring you down if they're not going to let you bring them up. And, and people won't support you. That's a, a telltale sign that they shouldn't be that important to you. All right. They may come around eventually. I'm not saying curse them out. I'm not saying I can't talk to you no more because this, that, and the other. I wouldn't tell them nothing. I would just, every, every, when they hit you up, I'm busy. Can you come out? No. Why can't you come out? Because I told you I can't. I'm busy. Oh, you don't like us? That's not the reason. I never said I didn't like you. I said I'm busy and I have things that I have to do. So you, the answer is no. I'm kindly telling you no. I'm not doing that. I'm going to stay and work on. Uh, I'm going to just, you don't even tell them that. I'm going to decline this time. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. They'll get the message eventually that, yo, so-and-so means business. And they'll, they'll, they'll say that around themselves. They won't say it around you, though. These are the little secret meetings and the little things they say about you. So-and-so cares about what they're doing. They care about it more than us. They won't even let us, she won't let us stop her. They got the, and these are the things that they say. Yo, she won't let us stop her. He won't let us stop him. He won't let nobody get in his way. He don't let nothing stop him. He don't let nobody stop him. But they got the nerve to try to stop you, though. And if it was on the flip side, they wouldn't let you stop them. They won't, they won't let you stop them from doing nothing, not even bringing themselves down. If they, you know, if they're not going to stop you from letting you, if they're not going to stop you from letting them bring themselves down, why let them stop you from bringing yourself up? Even on the reverse, it still works. So you got a choice to make. You're going to listen to the positive influences in your life. You're going to listen to God, or you're going to listen to the negative influences in your life that are trying to hold you back and stop you and make sure that you don't get to where you're supposed to be. I know you know the answer. 
Listen to God, listen to the good things, listen to the positive things, listen to that voice within you that tells you, you can do it. I know I can do it. This is for me. I've got this. I'm going to master this. I'm in control of this. I, I see myself living this life. I see myself having this life. I see myself being able to do what I want and have the things that I want to be able to have in life. All right. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dream. You will get to where you want to go. All right. I promise you that. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. We out.